Hi, I couldn't let the month of June go by without talking about the word love. Obviously, June is Pride Month, so it's a really, really great opportunity to talk about what love looks like, what acting on love is, and we frequently hear the phrase love is love. I also wanted to bring this up because it's anniversary month and this year is a big anniversary in my family. My parents are celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. Six zero. <laughs> my husband and I have our 24th, which also feels really big and it's our last name. I am excited to bring this one up too because I've focused on so many words that are not necessarily great for the younger set, but love is a great word to look at with any age and it brings up opportunity to see a word where there's a final E that is not marking a vowel before it, long or tense. So we don't say love. That E is purely there because we don't end English words in a V. So that's why the word D-O-V-E can be dove or dove. And L-I-V-E can be live or live. This E is there to keep us from ending the English word in a V. And there's a history behind that that I'm not going to get into now, but can also help them understand that English avoided U's and V's side by side. And so when there is an a uh sound like in love, you're going to find an O instead of a U. Again, this has to do with history and the writing system. U and V was the same letter. There's a whole bunch of things you could look into if you wanted to. But it's really, really helpful for kids to know that they're not going to find use and bees side by side unless it's a really new entry into the English language. So that's a really excellent thing for kids to learn about the word love that then applies to the whole writing system. And from there we can take the word love to build some opportunity for practicing some suffix spelling changes. We can build lovelier, loveliest, compare those two adjective suffixes, the comparative and the superlative, what's happening to that final Y and lovely when we do that, lovable, beloved, all of these words can be incorporated into this. And it's certainly a word that they will encounter over and over again. So there's all sorts of places we can take this excellent practice for kids learning about the English spelling system. Another thing I love about this word beyond the sentiment, of course, is when kids know a spelling but they don't necessarily understand it. You know, like a lot of kids know the spelling for love but they don't know why it is spelled the way it is. Once they understand why, they can apply those principles to the other words that are similar. So they can spell love, they don't know why. Well, now we're going to spell dove is gonna be easier for them. So that's another beautiful thing about studying this system. If you wanted to take a look at the broader family, there's some fun things that go on. There's the word belief is related. Belief has that sense of holding dear, to care for something, to desire something. I love that too because I speak Dutch and lief is love in Dutch, liefde. That, that's a fun connection. You may have noticed that I'm starting to answer more and more questions from subscribers here. I'm super happy to take your inquiries, make videos to answer your questions whenever possible. It's uh, something that's going to require your patience because we are getting weeks out for my planning of what I'm sharing here. So. If you want something immediately from me, you're going to have to hire me. <laughs> but if you want something to come out in the freebies and the videos, then please feel free to ask and request and just know that if I'm able to, I will get to it, but it might be taking a few weeks. I am super open to ideas and suggestions. I'm so happy to have you here. Hope you have a good week.